We all get a little hot in the summer, and now a group of researchers in Nova Scotia is creating what they call air conditioning for salmon. Okay, hear me out. Warming water along the Atlantic coast, triggering a decline in some fish populations. It's particularly severe right now when salmon are swimming into shallower rivers to spawn. Joining me with more is the project's lead, a PhD candidate in civil engineering at Dalhousie University, Catherine Smith. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So this study published in 2020 found climate change has already made severe marine heat waves at least 20 times more likely. So how have rising temperatures affected salmon populations in and around Nova Scotia? Yeah, for sure. So rising water temperatures, as you mentioned, we're seeing uh, globally, and they pose a threat because cold water biodiversity have these specific ranges in temperature where they can ultimately thrive and survive in. And so with rising water temperatures, we're seeing those upper limits starting to be reached more frequently. And so this is creating additional thermal stress for these uh, cold water species. And specifically in Atlantic Canada, we're seeing the distinction of endangered, so in the species of risk, um, for Atlantic salmon within several watersheds within Nova Scotia. And so these rising water temperatures um, will create additional stress on these um, aquatic species into the future. Okay, so this idea of creating air conditioning for salmon, mm -hmm. what, does, what does that mean? Yeah, so it's kind of funny that that uh, term kind of took off when this work started gaining some traction. Um, but the analogy holds true. So think of it as us as humans, you know, in the summer months when we are going through a heat wave and we're uncomfortable in those warmer air temperatures, we reach for that air conditioning remote to turn that on and try and alleviate some of that thermal stress for us. So the same thing holds true for cold water species. But instead of that, you know, handy remote, they reach out and seek out these cold water patches within a river system. We know you use two methods, right, to create these cold pockets. One is called active, the other one is passive. How do you make them? Yeah, yeah. So um, my supervisor and I uh, at Dalhousie partnered with the Nova Scotia Salmon Association, as well as the Foundation for Conservation of Atlantic Salmon, um, to create these two methods. Um, so as you said, the passive and active system. And so this past summer, we installed um, two passive systems, which is essentially, uh, we dug an underground trench, filled it with gravel, mm. and then capped it off with some additional soil. And then we redirected a small portion of the river water through this underground trench. And the idea is that as it travels through this, it actually cools down as it's not exposed to direct sunlight. And then we redirect it um, through it and discharge it back into the river at a cooler water temperature than the main river. And then this one was installed in the Killeck River located in Sheet Harbor. And we were able to see a reduction in water temperature, so a creation of a cold water habitat. And then for the active system, we were lucky to have the municipality of Anaganish uh, agree for us to use their backup town water supply, uh, which consists of two wells uh, located along the Wrights River in Anaganish, Nova Scotia. And so essentially we directly pumped um, their wells and pumped groundwater at around nine degrees Celsius into the main river, as you're seeing on the images here, um, which the river during the heat wave was around 30 degrees Celsius. So we're seeing quite a bit of a, a thermal difference there and we were able to uh, create a pretty significant cold water habitat that we saw multiple aquatic species at uh, several life stages utilizing. It is fascinating. Thanks so much for sharing your work. And this is the first time I've shared a screen with like a, a giant fish staring at me the whole time, which is why I looked off at the first part of our conversation. Catherine, great to meet you. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.